Hi Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your mid-month cartomancy reading. Cartomancy is the art of reading the regular playing cards. You have the Jack of Hearts. There's something very nice happening in your life. Um, this is about love talk, romance, could be about um, a relationship where you're you're getting together it doesn't have to be romance like it can be a friendship family member uh, getting closer speaking like nice it's nice it's very very nice I want to cut them right away um, so this is a little different from the tarot the cart to Nancy Oh, by the way, I'm out at camp right now, so that's why it's very rustic behind me. And we might hear the odd sound now and then, just warning you. I'm trying to get these done before everybody starts piling in. It's Friday, and a lot of people start piling into the campground. So I'm just doing a few here before that happens. All right, so this is your present energy, Virgo. You have the Five of Diamonds, the Two of Diamonds, and the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is a blue-eyed woman or man. Um, she's kind, generous, thoughtful, compassionate, very nice. It looks like there's some, and this could be you, Virgo. It's the eyes, right? Um... So there's some sort of financial gain for you here. Could be even in your health. Um, there could be also a partnership going on here financially, a financial par partnership in some way, or just a meeting. You could be meeting, having a meeting or meeting with someone in the bank about your uh, finances because there has been... There's an increase in some way, okay, in your finances. What am I doing? What am I doing? So let's see what the Gilded Tarot has to say about that. Tell me about this Queen of Hearts and this financial meeting. Because there has been a growth in your finances in some way. There it is. Two of them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Huh. So it's something to do with your stability. It could be a new home. Um... The, the other thing, too, is sometimes this, because if you look here, it's celebration. It could be marriage, moving in together. It also is a place of ceremony, okay, of ceremony. It's a sacred fire, and you might be able to do ceremony or something here. But anyway, you also have the wheel. And the wheel is about ably, being able to make changes in your life. You know, karma comes around. And, and so what we have done in the past is summed up. And now we are able to take that into our future. So you're making a new map here. You know, she's starting a new circle. And, um, yeah, ready to begin. You're, you're very positive. You're ready to expand, too. She's got the double spiral. And there could be two of you. There could be two of you. So, coming in, you have the King of Clubs, the Five of Hearts, and the Nine of Spades. The King of Clubs is a brown or hazel-eyed man or woman friendly, um, creative, dynamic, good networker. They like, they like action to do things, you know, that sort of thing. And, um, this could be someone very close, a friend. It could be just a friend, but a ver someone very close. Uh, there could be something growing here, something changing here in this friendship. Um, this could be the person that you, you've moved in with. Um, there could be some sort of health condition that they have, okay? They have 
um, could have a health condition. Um, their health condition also um, I don't know like you might care for them in that way help them in that way not necessarily but maybe um, you could help them and you're there's something really compassionate up, ooh, about um, this oh this is so nice so the two of cups this is coming together in partnership seeing eye to eye you might be very different and very the same in different ways it's building bridges too so this could be a reconciliation um, of a relationship um, it doesn't have to be a health condition there could have been some <gasps> there could have been some sort of um, challenge in the friendship in the relationship okay but this talks about seeing eye to eye coming together um, re a lot of wind in the sails look at both of their um what do they call that thing again their tunic anyway i know there's a certain name for it but um are just full of air they're just chatting and and it's really nice it's really nice um, so above you you have the king of hearts the four of diamonds and the jack of spades the king of hearts is a blue-eyed man it's funny you have the queen of hearts over here um, and that or this could be your love interest like the Queen of Hearts King of Hearts sometimes they represent your love interest also if it's not a blue-eyed man uh, again very caring sweet compassionate um, helpful uh, okay and then there's something about the stability the security that could have you concerned i'll just wait for this car to pass um you could be wondering if you're making a bad move if 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 you're like you could be thinking you're going to get bad news or you you're if this is a mistake or something like that there also could be a young person that has very dark eyes around this king of hearts and that is causing trouble getting into trouble oh, darn um causing some sort of trouble around your security okay a, uh, you know or just someone trying to cause trouble around your security tell me about this for Virgo this king of hearts jack of spades Tell me about this Virgo what is going on That's it. the Queen of Pentacles so this could be regarding an earth sign a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded or wants to be um she has an announcement to make something that she's proud of that something that she wants to celebrate and share there could be a birth i don't think so in this situation i think this is about healing and growth here um
you know the queen is is very mature very practical and sensible about what she invests her time and energy into okay and this is what you're doing here you're trying to be sensible and practical and very wise with your finances here okay and your stability so this is your work ambitious ambitions goals pile and you have the queen of diamonds the seven of clubs and the nine of hearts as you can hear it's starting to get busier here so we'll wrap this up right in a few minutes. The Queen of Diamonds, Carmela. Stop. She is um, a green, gray, or very pale blue-eyed woman. I usually see her as the mature woman, the older woman, sometimes the mother. It could be a man, too. Um... And it could be someone you have concern over. Uh, it also could be you, Virgo. Like at any one of these people in here could be you. Um, you could. It could be someone you're concerned about, but you need not worry. <laughs> you need not worry. It's per, everything's going to work out with the nine of hearts here it dulls any other cards concerns worries you know it's a blanket of safety basically around you or this person um and if this is their concern for you this could be someone you worked with that you're still really close to um someone that could be trying to help you with your ambitions now you know i just got a feeling it could be somebody looking down on you from above i just i don't know that's just for some of you if you've lost a parent a sister card hmm. this shows you working very hard trying to get something completed you know he's at the eight he's got two more pentacles to pour and he's literally making money here but he's working very hard trying to complete this project he's in the middle of doing okay and you know you could be overwhelmed so you, this person could be overwhelmed but you, you know there's no worries it's all gonna work out like i said that nine of hearts is like a blanket of safety um protection around you or this person so how others are seeing you or influencing you you have the four of hearts the three of diamonds and the four of clubs well for one thing they see you as really stable. I think they see you in a good relationship. I think they see you, um, like you're, you're stable. You're, you're fine. I think you're financially independent. Um, I think romantically you're stable. I think where you're living is stable. Um, Maybe what you're doing for work is stable, but I still, I feel like there's some sort of dissatisfaction in your life. I feel like there's something missing for you. You know, there's something lacking. Okay. Lacking for you. So anyway you're figuring that out you're you're working right now trying to get things completed and finished up there's a lot of cards indicating a home here um your stability you know a lot of that moving in possibly there could be a lot of rearranging and you know your stuff and figuring out that 
but people see you as very stable very stable you know Ooh, I had a hold of it. I had a hold of it there. And then I lost it. And I think this is it here. This is it. I can feel it. I can feel it. The Five of Swords. Ugh. These moths are everywhere. Okay. So the Five of Swords is about regret sorrow um there's something's gone wrong here okay this could be in the past as well you know um with other people all right somebody wanted to be proven right they wanted to prove they were right and and um prove you were wrong perhaps i don't know or maybe vice versa i don't know but there is a feeling, I, nobody wins in this card. It's an empty victory card. And so even though you may win the fight, what did you really win? You know, if, if you've lost this relationship. So there, you know, there could be something to celebrate in that area too with this Three of Diamonds. Because the Three of Diamonds is a wish card like you're getting everything you want a lot of the things that you want are coming together more stable now than maybe ever before this could like i said have happened already <laughs> darn things oh get off me <laughs> this is a wild reading virgo uh, okay, so in the foundation, you have the Six of Hearts, the Five of Spades, and the Three of Hearts. Now, the Six of Hearts is taking steps in love and relationships, okay? The Five of Spades is some sort of loss. Um, there could have been a step back, you know, or a... A short delay, a small delay, and I know it's a really small delay because there is the Three of Hearts. And the Three of Hearts is very focused on the self, okay? We're focused on the self. We, what do we feel? What do we need? You know, what to move forward kind of thing. And sometimes we need to do that. We need to take a step back. And say, okay, wait a minute, what am I feeling here? Right? Kind of a self-assessment in a way. And so th this could have happened um, already for you, some sort of a self-assessment. And you could have made some adjustments. Um, you could have asked for more or less, or you could have um, just uh, ad adjustments to make yourself happier. Okay, so these darn moths are driving me cuckoo. <laughs> I don't want to kill them. I don't really believe in that, but I don't want them in my hair either. Yuck. All right, tell me about... this you know self-assessment what you need in relationships There's another card. see i was trying to get these done before everybody starts come barreling in for the weekend because they'll start anytime now they start friday afternoon and just ever keep flowing in till the evening Tell me for Virgo, what is going on here in the foundation? Tell me. Ooh, well this is really nice. You have the fool. 
this is really nice. So this is a whole new beginning. This is what you've begun just recently. It's already begun because this is in the foundation. So you're, you've got your cares in the past. You, you, you are willing to take chances and are, have a more happy-go-lucky feeling now you know i think you're feeling really good this is very nice brand new beginning so in the surprise pile you have the jack of diamonds the ace of hearts and the three of spades um so it looks like you could get this could be some sort of a it could be a love letter it could be um, a communication that is really um, about starting a new relationship. There could be some sort of new relationship. There could be a birth. Remember I said up here, uh, there could be a birth. Okay, so you could get news of a birth, a new addition to the family that you consider an obstacle to this person to yourself i don't know in some way this new or or for others um there you get news that there's some sort of obstacle with at home okay at home um now it's just the three of spades it's just an obstacle it's just minor not too bad to get around you know but it is an obstacle it's a bit of a challenge that we have to deal with and that's okay see if we can find out a little bit more about this but i feel like you're gonna get an email or something in the mail regarding this this is could be an actual document um, that's going to create an obstacle in some way. I don't think, I think it's coming from someone else. Um, honestly, you're surprised, I think, when you get this too. You're like, what? Yeah, Three of Swords. This could hurt your feelings. Um, this, but it is the truth, though. It is the truth. You realize, you know, you understand. Um, and the Two of Swords. So, Two of Swords is about needing to make a decision based on what you now know. Okay. You need to make a decision. You cannot see where either path will lead. You know, you got to trust yourself. You got to trust yourself and trust your intuition here. Um, and that's what this red uh, scarf or cloak is about. It's about trusting yourself. You know, that strength, the strength card isn't here, but she wears that red thing in the strength. And that's about believing in yourself you know um so there's something that you need to face you need to face it might be difficult for you could be to do with your family your home or a new addition to the family all right so Virgo, I hope this helps you. Um, it looks like you've got a bit of a mix here, some good, some challenges. And message me, comment below if this resonates. Otherwise, share, subscribe, and like um, if you like this video. Uh, take care. I'll talk to you soon in the next one. All right. Bye now.